okay, it's a very simple story. A guy goes insane, kills his wife. The White Room is about a guy who thinks he is in a mental institution trying to gain atonement for, for killing his wife, but really he is actually in hell. And he's basically stuck in purgatory. And this, this state where he's just trapped and he's coping with his sin. My idea of the story kind of changed throughout the whole thing because during the production, I'll be honest, I wasn't actually sure of what the story was, but as the time progressed, I kept on getting new ideas of what exactly was going on. And even now I look back and then watch it and I'm like, oh, okay, so, uh, so I'm still getting things from it even now. But then you start to watch it and you watch it again and again and you notice little subtle things like how he's taking pills or how the edits are kind of unnatural in a sense and you start, start to think that well maybe there is something else to this story than just the typical guy goes insane. So it's just something dramatic and just what could I do with my violin that would make that statement musically. I intended that when you watch this movie, you really didn't know what was going on, but I slowly would tell you the story. And by the end of it, you realize you've made a complete circle and you haven't really gone anywhere. When Kelsey first told me that uh, she was editing to a tempo, I thought, oh, that, that's pretty cool. I've, I've never heard of a video person actually doing that. I mean, uh, especially in school, like no one ever you know, goes that deep into it. I'm a very musical driven editor so generally before I even go into production on any film that I work on I already have an idea of the, uh, the rhythm, the sense of pacing and the song that I think it would represent. I found a Bach song and I got the tempo from it, I think it's like 144, really quick tempo and I literally edited on the tempo. Like the tempo has been driving every single part of our audio process. Um, when it came down to sound effects, we wanted to make sure that things were hitting on the right tempos, and it was so much easier to do that than when we had that tempo there lined up already. Especially when we got the score from Carrie and realized how well it synced up. Even the quiet in between the score is just like spot on. It's like you feel it. You really do feel what's going on. Like, it makes you feel inside a tension. That's why you're here with me. I know I killed her. Why would you believe me? I didn't want the music to take away by any means from the dialogue, because it's very important. But I definitely wanted it to, you know, come in where it needed to be, and I wanted it to be silent where it needed to be. So we did have that moment to breathe and to realize where we were in the story. It was hard for me to kind of pull back and go, okay, let's not overwhelm the piece. Let's just kind of let it, let it be, you know? And that's what was different for me as a sound designer, to just have something that's quiet. Uh, the, the score is essential. I mean, you, you've, it's just so spot on from where it, where it stops, where it eases back in to the very ending where you just, it stops and it leaves the dialogue the only thing to listen to. I gave Carrie a video file that was of just visual, no audio. And then I gave him a file for just the dialogue. And then I gave him a, my click track so he knew what kind of tempo I was editing to. Really, what, when the director gave me that tempo, that's just the prize right there of what makes it mess so wonderfully with the piece. It was like the glue to put everything together and it really worked well. So I knew this piece needed an original score for it. And so that's when I went to Carrie, because I still wanted this classical element, but this like modern way of seeing things. Because you hear a violin, the way, you know, it's not necessarily orchestra, but it's still that classical feeling. I kind of thought of it, just it, it was just like a creepy, but at the same time, like it just left you uneasy when you use that pizzicato at the beginning of the piece. And just because, like, just to insinuate the fact that you were in a place where you should be uncomfortable, where the gentleman felt uncomfortable in the white room. 
and what I felt the director was trying to communicate. And as soon as I transitioned from the pizzicato plucks into the string articulation, that kind of transitioned into when he was reminiscing back to what actually happened with his wife. So uh, I just used it just to set the tone. The score is moving. You know, it's really moving along with what's going on and it's really telling you what's going on in the story as well if you let it. The score really has that emotional impact that helps the viewer if it's the editing or the actors or you know the white room itself doesn't give enough of how the viewer should feel the music lets you know and you can just listen to the music and sense that arc